20 seconds start now. Ten seconds remaining. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Here we go. We want to of my headquarter that is uh, here in Romania and um, I'm proud to say that I'm one of the volunteers uh, that came over to uh, give support uh, uh, for the floodings uh, and uh, lots of companies, uh, fashion companies uh, were born here in this part of Italy and I've been living here for 15 years and I started uh, um, playing with the fashion systems uh, uh, while I was having fun uh, with uh, many designers produced by the factories of Alberto Ferretti so that I wanted to pay tribute to this land and also to see how can I spread uh, the um, uh, division of on how it's important to support uh, the network of industries related to big brands because uh, what we see in the fashion shows is strictly related on what is happening here inside little laboratories we have a fantastic brand uh, shoe brands pret a um collections uh, and uh, many also textile uh, um, factories are nearby for the area where I'm currently uh, in. Um, so let's watch the platform. Uh, we are going to review together the Etro fashion show directly from the site and uh, let's start enjoying this uh, tale related to one of the most uh, a uh, brilliant and fascinating brand in Italy. This is a huge yellow sun. Oh yeah, getting back to the story of uh, this uh, brand. Uh, it's a family uh, family concept. Uh, uh, that was born in Italy. So Marco De Vincenzo is a designer uh, in charge with the artistic director uh, direction. So he wanted uh, to embrace heritage and exquisite style. Um, Etro is a world absolutely captivating. Um, Obviously, um, she sent mesmerizing fashion show. 
part as well where you can appreciate it on flower a little bit. You can uh, appreciate uh, the um, any any little detail founded in 1968. Can you believe? It's a while. Uh, by Gerolamo Gimmo Etro, the brand has uh, become uh, 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 has become a synonymous uh, with el eclectic uh, prints, uh, luxurious fabrics, uh, and. Uh, celebration of global cultures with a rich history of craftsmanship and a unique aesthetic. Etro continues to captivate fashion enthusiasts worldwide. So we are going to explore the brand's profile, style features and delve into its remarkable journey. Uh, through the years, because as I said, uh, Etro was born in 1968. Um, <clears throat> Etro is a run family business, has established itself as a prominent force in the fashion industry over five decades ago. With uh, its headquarters in Milan, the brand is known for it's, uh, look at that, distinctive blend of uh, bohemian elegance and artisanal craftsmanship. Look, you can see a way of translating uh, uh, icons uh, into fabrics and colors. It's absolutely outstanding. Soave, we, we say in Italian. Uh, it's a constant uh, uh, source of inspiration um, so that uh, the result is the diverse collection uh, that uh, have uh, culture references and uh, such a vibrant color palette. Um, in this case, in these shows, it seems that they have the freedom of play with volumes, uh, different uh, uh, size, length of the trousers, uh, and these, you can feel this morbidity, this uh, uh, flawless uh, 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 spirits. Uh, style features, uh, um, Style features is are different, you know. It, it can change from uh, shows to to shows, but uh, the the most important are really the intricate in, intricate patterns, floral motifs, and paisley designs. Um, so the paisley is the um, primer. Uh, icon uh, that you can relate to Etro. So also the brand you see the textiles is uh, are composed are mainly based on the use of the silk, cashmere and uh, velvet uh, so through these um, elements, uh, you can perceive how much luxurious are uh, all the pieces uh, coming from the uh, brand. They have uh, such a precise, precise tailoring to expert drafting also and embellished me embellishments um, and if it, each piece exuded a sense of artistry and quality they can also dare to uh, put a more level of uh, different uh, uh, prints and uh, symbols and uh, references uh, they, this brand has no fear because it doesn't have to. So 
so it, the silhouettes are mostly glowing uh, with the structure cast. Created with uh, such an ar harmonious balance. Yeah. Hydro can fuse the classic and modern uh, elements. Uh, wow, yeah, in a unique way. You, even the, uh, something that could be, you know, at first sight, something wearable uh, during winter, it, it turns uh, something that you can use in summer just because you choose a certain kind of. Uh, uh, material. They have this ability and this power. Uh, Hedro's journey began uh, with the vision of Jimo Hedro, who initially focused uh, producing intricate and colorful fabrics. And uh, so the biggest breakthrough by Etro was the launch of, uh, as I said, Paisley Motif, which became its iconic trademark. So over the years, uh, Etro became uh, uh, worldwide famous, uh, all about uh, little step. Etro never wanted to shout out and to scream and to be loud and to be believably because you can perceive the luxury just observing the details and how different he can how different he can produce the uh, garments uh, and uh, yeah look at that it's I'm speechless look at this they also have a fragrance line and um, they try to be really uh, grounded and so they don't like to be uh, too much exposed because they're on uh, their primary focus is to keep on uh, uh, spreading hetero culture and hetero taste all over the world. So also the core values of uh, craftsmanship, uh, individu individuality, and love for the arts. So you can see also the cultural influences, including India, uh, Asian, and African aesthetic. It's a triumph of uh, iconic etro prints. Yeah. Okay. It's always a pleasure to see this cat. In fact, in a few days' time, we're gonna be with Luciferus because it would be very, would be very warm. But we're ready to suffer more and more again the Italian way. So the more we suffer, and the more we can uh, create. Uh, 
such a beautiful collection. Look at that, wow. But it's also, you can use uh, most of these uh, outfits uh, also as a female uh, and so. I won't say unisex because I don't like uh, the word, but it's absolutely unique pieces for unique people. Here we go, this guy is Marco de Vincenzo, if I'm not wrong, and he's in charge for the artistic direction of Etro. It's a brand new style part for the Maison, and uh, this is all. It has been wonderful to be with you again this afternoon, um, so please uh, give uh, me some, ensure me some love.